This is a video I hope becomes obsolete sooner than later, because it has to do with an issue that Microsoft has introduced in one of its most recent updates to Power BI. Here's the issue. If I go down to Start, and I start Power BI, the issue that I'm having is I want to be able to remove items from this history list, or perhaps clear the whole list entirely. Now, since Microsoft has gone in and redone the entire user interface, that option for removing items from the history list appears to have been lost. If we go down to About, we can see that I'm running the June 2024 edition. But this problem has existed for several iterations of Power BI before this June 2024 update. So if we go back up to File, there used to be an option here to launch the Getting Started page, and from there you could clear entries from the history. But that Getting Started page has been abandoned. Since there doesn't appear to be any way to remove the entries from the normal user interface, my first thought was to go into the Windows registry. Since Windows seems to store a lot of information there, I thought we could find that information in the registry and then remove that registry key and it would take care of this problem. However, I discovered that none of this is actually in the registry, but I did find out where this information is stored. Here's how we're going to get rid of these entries. Let's open File Explorer and we'll go to the C drive, Users folder, your login name, and then to the subfolder called Microsoft, Power BI Desktop Store App, and then inside of this user.zip file, we'll double click it to open it, is another subfolder called User Interface. In that folder is an XML file, extensible markup language file, called Settings. Now to try to edit this file directly while it's still in the zip file is difficult. So it's probably going to be easier if we just go to this file, right click copy, go to another folder location, and do a right click paste. Now if you double click this file, it will likely open this file in some sort of browser like Microsoft Edge. But in the Edge browser, it doesn't do a very good job of doing carriage returns and line feeds and it's difficult to find information. So I'm going to close Edge, and for my purposes I'm going to right click and open this up in Notepad++. If you don't have Notepad++ on your computer, I highly recommend you download it. It's far superior to Notepad, and it's really good for working with text files. Now, because this is an XML file, I had to also go download the XML tools for Notepad++. And you can do that by going up to Plugins, Plugins Admin, and then just scrolling down this list of plugins and checking XML tools. Now, I don't have it listed here because I've already installed it. But let's just pretend, say this was XML Viewer, you would then go up here, click Install, and it will go out and get that plugin and put it into Notepad. I'm going to hit Close. Once done, the XML tools will be listed here. And the one change that I would make is to turn on what's called Pretty Print, because this will list everything in a very nice orderly structure. The line item we're looking for is this one right here called File History. Now there are 50 entries in my history list, so this is a really long line of information. But in here are the full path and file entries for all of the 50 listed files. Now there's some additional XML code in between each of these entries, and I think this might be a little difficult to try to isolate a specific entry to remove it from the list. Not impossible, but probably not easy. So I'm going to go with the approach of just clearing the entire history list. And to do that, all you have to do is highlight and delete this entire row of information. So for this one, I'm going to highlight the entire row, hit delete, that removes that row, and then I'll just hit delete again to close up that blank row. Once you've saved this file, I'll close Notepad++ or whatever editor you were using. Take this settings.xml file, I'm going to recopy it. I'll go back to that user interface folder that we were in in the zip file and do a right click paste. And I will overwrite the old settings XML file with the new settings XML file. So by deleting that one row from the XML file, here was Power BI before the modification with all 50 of those files listed. I'll close Power BI, restart Power BI, and now my file history has been cleared. So from home, there are no entries. If we go to open, there are no entries. Now I'm using the version of Power BI downloaded from the Microsoft Store. I've not tested this process for the version of Power BI downloaded as a solo installable file. So if you're using that version and this doesn't work, but you do figure out how to do it, put it down in the comments. Hopefully it won't be long before Microsoft reinstates the clear feature so we can clear out entries either individually or in bulk. But until that day comes, this is what we've got. Thank you for watching, and remember, at BCTI, the learning never stops.